Hello, my name is Oksana. I'm homeless, I live in my van with my cat, but it's not the story for this video. In this video, we're gonna see a bended water park on which people spend 25 million euro. Isn't it really exciting? Oh yeah, it is. Why is this water park is a bended? The first reason, the money, but I'm going to tell the whole story. They even have now their own website and uh, it shows how it would look like if they would finish that. And the number says that they started the project at 2008 and they abandoned that at 2014 because of the money issues. Of course, if they spent 25 million on the boating and it didn't even like ready in the middle of nowhere, I would also actually abandon that. I almost forgot. The owner seems to be to like that idea and probably he will finish that in the future. But the thing is, by the looking at the construction, <laughs> I don't think they're going to spend another 25 million euro on the building, which is in the middle of nowhere, which nobody needs. What am I going to take with me? I'm going to take with me my drone. It's a little bit broken, but it's still okay. I'm gonna take with me an action camera. I was thinking about taking this one, but what if I would need to run away <laughs> from the police or kind of like guards? It's very heavy, <laughs> they would probably catch me. But if I would have action camera, I would be like, and nobody will ever catch me, do you understand? I can take my cat with me. So she's gonna stay there. I'm gonna close curtains and uh, she'll be all right. <laughs> Dogs. Just in case if it's really too hard for me, uh, I'm trying to make it maximum shadow. Like this. Good. I used to, to watch a lot of videos where people were exploring abandoned buildings. Some of them even got lucky and they found some beautiful or terrifying stuff. I found that water park when I was doing research about my travel steps. And I saw that it's not far away from me, so it took me a second to understand that I really want to go there and I really want to explore this area. I didn't prepare anything, I just thought that I will improvise and see what to do when I will get there. Also, I'm gonna take a uh, protection for my drone. So, if it will hit something, it will not definitely die. So, drone, and that's it. Oh, 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 oh. Turn my wheels in the side so, in case of the uh, Evacuator will come to me or try to take my car. It will be really complicated for them. The thing is that I can't lose my car, my home, and my cat. So I park like this. It's a little life hack for you. It's a little bit far away from the area because, um, you know, it's not get a lot of attention. Actually, we're gonna see right now a water park. It's, uh, it's right there. It's a huge building. Imagine, we're looking right now at 25 million dollars, oh not dollars, euro. Wow. Huge. Hmm. I think if there will be a tick, I'll probably die. Did you know that you can die from a tick? It's a fact. Oh. I think it should go around there. Not sure. Imagine if it's private property. 
<laughs> then I will get to pour that <laughs> from Portugal. Oh, you I don't think you're able to go there. Great. Great. I was trying to go right there, but um, unfortunately, I think it is a private property and I respect that. So I'm gonna go just on the bridge, then I will turn on the left, then I will go through the river and uh, go to the waterfall. Wait, what? No, if they have any guards, if they will have a guard, I'll so say hi and go around. If not, then I will probably go there. Oh, there is a hole. There is saying that it's a propria de de, de privata. So. Hi. Hi. Do you speak English? Yeah. You also want to go there? Yeah. But the guy uh, from here, the owner. The owner? Yeah, we just uh, five minutes ago we He came uh, inside and said you want to go out. <laughs> he came inside? Yeah. yeah. Now he's inside. Uh, no, he just no, but, uh, uh, I think ago. the camera and. Uh... Uh, what will happen? You, are you from Portugal? Uh, no, no, France. France. Oh, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from? All right, so he left, right? Yes, yes uh, two, minutes five, away, two minutes. So we can go around. There is a hole. We can go in there. Yeah, you have a hole. Uh, you can go here. Just uh, here. Okay. You also will go. I uh, know we live. All right. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. Excuse me, do you speak English? Do you speak English? English. English. You're not going to repair that part? Yes, it will be restructured and so on. Cool. And what is there? It was, it's uh, also one of the oldest parties for kids. Oh. Interesting. This looks big and heavy. Mm. <laughs> what? Frogs? Frogs? Yes. Oh, did you get? Help. That's a lot of them right there. They're huge. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the big uh, water park in the Portugal? Definitely. In the um, Iberian Peninsula, definitely. And. Um, in Europe, we have someone in Aqua Park in Algarve and so on, but they are not so so big like this. You cool. can have about fifteen thousand people here. Fifteen thousand. Each each day. Wow. Unfortunately, my microphone didn't record anything for about an hour. The reasons for that can be or dead battery or some kind of glitch, and that's why I almost have nothing to show. But. I will try my best to tell you what I remember. Well, when I came to the main gates of a water park, I saw two girls. They told me that they already went inside, but soon the workers of this water park will come back. After a minute, I saw a car which was driving in the gates, and I decided to ask the guardians or workers to let me in. I wanted them to let me walk a little and see the water park. <laughs> One of them was really kind and talkative man. He gave me a free one hour long tour. He told me about the owner, about how they are going to finish the water park. He told me that now they are cleaning it up and getting ready for real deal repairs. He told me why the repairs stopped. And yes, that's because of money and sponsors. 
I'm not sure that I can tell all the details, so I'll just say in short terms. Also, I got surprised how optimistic they are about the date when they will finish. They said it will be done in two or three years. I don't really believe that, but I promise to come here when they will be open. Yeah. I was really surprised of how big the buildings and the territory is. I really love that cool garden and river and ship inside the building. I also was impressed of the story about clay installations. They all, I mean the installations, were made by one guy who was invited from a different country. Cool, isn't it? Let's summarize. I didn't really enjoy that trip. I had a way higher expectations, but it is what it is. I anyway decided to pause this video. Maybe it will be interesting for somebody. Hello, hello. Nothing goes according to plan. I wanted to just enter that like a little criminal, but <laughs> there was a people and um, there were people and I could not. And I decided to ask these guys if I will be able to enter. And they said, yes, they did a little excursion for me, not a guide, a guide of this water park. It was actually very friendly. I love Portuguese people really a lot. They're so kind. And uh, the thing is that I was about to film everything from the, from my drone, but I fucked up and I crashed my drone. It doesn't work anymore, but we're not sad about it. Thank you very much for watching this video. <laughs> Press like, write a comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.